All right, what up? We're here with some differentials. We have the new limited slip 346 and we have the old open 325. Replacement parts here. We got new clutches for the LSD. So when we tested the breakaway torque, I wasn't super stoked with how well it was holding up. So it's out, we're just gonna do that easy enough. So time to dig in and see what's up. So here's the inside. So cool, right? Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah. One just broke off. The head broke off. It looks like there's enough meat taken off that I should be able to slip the cover off and then maybe just get a layers on it. Good news is the nut that broke off, this one, bottom side snapped right off. It is slipping right past it, so that's good. Okay. All right, so now is the important part to take very careful care, very careful care, put everything back in the right order. I'll show you that right there. It's the bolt that broke off. Should be able to get it out, hopefully. All right, first is this little spacer. Just leave that right on top of this, which is something. It seemed to be maybe right towards that. You know, before we keep going, I'm gonna try to get this broken nut out. I think we got it. A little bit of extra PB, some slow turning. broke off right there so next up we got the spacer and we got another spacer and we got a clutch we got a big old hunk of metal Okay, and then we got the spider gears. Okay, this is weird. And we got some more stuff. I definitely know what I'm doing. So let's just do a little bit of this. Come on, baby. Oh, okay. So I didn't notice when I removed it that the spider gear assembly came out with one of the dog, old dog ears and clutch discs. And it does not look very good. What the fuck is that? We got a husky pick, another one broke. Shout out to husky. It's a fat boy. I think that might be the one we're not putting back in. We got this little guy. 
already forgot how it was in there. Just like that. Oh, there. I might not have even needed to take those two out. Okay. Well, you never know what I'm doing. I want to take a film photo, but I can't pick the camera up right now. Alright, I'm going to dunk this fucker in some mineral spirits. Looks great. So, order of operations here. First one is this little spacer, and you can see these two little oiling grooves. After that, I guess this is considered a spring and has a little bit of bevel on the edge. And then this has little oiling grooves there. So for this, when you place it in, the oiling grooves face down. So when you look at this first Belleville spring, you're supposed to install it with the small spring radius down and the large spring radius up. Focus. So you gotta find the bevel, small radius down, large radius up. So like that. And then this, the oiling grooves face up. So it'll be like that. Remember? Cool. Spacer, oiling groups down, spring, and then oiling groove disc grooves up. Since we're doing the three clutch upgrade, what we're gonna do is we get rid of this huge spacer this is considered a spring again too, and just like the small spring, small diameter down, large diameter up. So you find that bevel. Small diameter down, large diameter up. Beautiful. Okay, so next is a new dog ear plate. Go straight in with the grooves. Available on Amazon Prime. And then here, we have our clutch discs. They've been soaking in differential oil. As the instructions say, this prevents burning out in the break-in period. So that is what's next. So I'm gonna grab one of those. It's gonna be cray messy. Hope I soaked it long enough. Didn't say how long, but maybe they're wet. Oh, they're wet, baby. She's in. Next up, we got another dog ear plate and another clutch disc. So next up, Another dog ear plate. And then we have another clutch disc. It's been soaking in fluid. All right, next up is spider gear assembly. You quick hit this with some mineral spurts. Well, the spider gear teeth have definitely seen better days. That's not good. Basically, it goes in, small radius down, this piece large like radius this, up, and then this piece goes in like that. And these gears mesh into the clutch plates. Next up, we will do the center pieces of these spider gears. These just like disassembly. Got these two pins go together like that. I just do two pieces. Okay. So now, got these top part of the spider gears cleaned up. This one, a little bit of pitting on some of them, but not as bad. Um, and then this top part. That piece first, down, and then this one in after. This one up. Great. After that, we got the clutch disc, third one, and the final dog ear plate too. After that, we have this last one. Top side, we install with the large spring radius down and the small spring radius up. So large down, small up, and then we have the final of the three, just like on the bottom side. 
this small one with the dog ear with the oiling grooves. The oiling grooves will face down. Then we have the small spring. Again, like the large spring, small diameter up, large down. And then this guy also with its little oiling grooves. And those oiling grooves will go upward. Brush detailing on the grooves. Getting all the old shit out of there. Small spring up, large radius down. And finally that last spacer with oil, oil grooves that face upward. Give her cover. Apparently lining this up is the hard part. I think I'm gonna already agree. Alright, I got a little figuring out to do here. And then putting the carrier cover back down. I just kind of had to like line obviously those top discs up so everything with like the oil groove and the spring all those three little pieces lined up and then to push it down it was kind of like chick, 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 back and forth it went really slow really tight but i think it's about as close as it needs to be now before i put all the new allen nuts in with medium loctite and then go in a star pattern to suck it all down in and then torque to 30 foot pounds but now we're gonna put eight of these in with some medium Permatex thread locker. Just doing that much there. That will do you. All right, so we got this cover back on there. These are all hand tightened, tightened it down. It wasn't flush when you first put it on. Apparently with. The springs or new clutches or whatever but once you hand tighten them down all in a star pattern it flattens out so now i'm going to go through with this and a torque wrench torque them to 30 foot pounds i got the loctite on each of them and i should be good Wow!